five simple ways to speed up 10 times of your badminton skills development. Today, I'm going to share with you the badminton life triangle, the concept that I create to help you increase the speed of your skills development. So first of all, you can see here, there's a triangle. But outside of triangle, the first stage, you need to have mindset. You gotta have a good mindset. A lot of people come to me and want to, you know, like, uh, coach, I want to learn something. Yeah, points here, two questions. What do you want to learn? I want to learn everything. Everything is nothing. Everything is nothing. So at this stage, what you need to ask is like this. What's your goal? What's your target? And how much time you can put into your training? And what kind of result you want to see? So you're going to have a good mindset at here. Then you will improve your badminton skills at the second stage. So here is the badminton skills. Badminton skills. At this levels, you're gonna start to talk about oh, what kind of drills, what kind of shots I'm struggling with. So you're gonna discuss with the professional coach. You're gonna start to discuss with the professional coach at this stage. Then you're gonna move on. The third stage. This I would say it's the last stage. It's the last stage. But you, you need to out why it's outside of circle right here because you need to think these three things. Maybe if you have let's say if you have good skills, then maybe you can compete in the international levels. Maybe you want to you know, compete with a high performance athlete or maybe you want to take this, this sport to become you know, your social life and build up your health or maybe some of you want to learn how to coach and to build up your business. That's, that's a lifetime. So badminton can help you to do this. Let's say this is a three stage. What about inside? There's a five layers I'm gonna share with you. The first, the first layer is we say technique. At this level, you, you might gonna start to, okay, I'm gonna learn the drive shot, smash, net shot, serve, clear, you know, lift, those kind of shots. You need to know the basic knowledge. But there's one more thing. You need to know it. You need to know the purpose of each shot. If you don't know the purpose of each shot, and a lot of coaches not talk about this, they just teach you like how to hit, how to do the motion. They don't know how, they don't teach you what is the purpose of the shot. Why do I need to do this like this way? If your coach not tell you this, then you gotta ask them, what's the purpose of this shot? And how I gonna implement into my games? So if you know the purpose behind the shots, then for you can speed up your skills development. And then you're gonna move up to the next level. The next layer is movement. At this level, you're gonna start to work on what? Work on your footwork. You're gonna work on your footwork. Why? Because you know how to hit already. They need to know how to run. A lot of people, a lot of people, they miss or ignore this layer. They will jump up to, oh, I want to play the good games. No, it's never going to happen because you don't have a good footwork. If you don't have a good footwork, you cannot get the right position. If you not get to the right position, you cannot hit the good quality of the shots. So at this level, you need to work on your footwork. And it's not easy because footwork, you got to put a lot of time and effort to work on them, okay? And if you have the uh, good footwork, they can reduce your injury, for sure, for sure. And then once you are good at it, you're gonna move on the third layer. The third layer, I would call the consistency. In this layer, you're gonna work on what? 
you're gonna work on we say isolation. So maybe you, you, you have see a lot of athletes they train one on two, two on three, those kind of stuff. They not play games. They work on this. We always compete with ourselves. How many rallies we can hit? How many rallies we can improve to against each other? So this suppose is work on your consistency. But if you want work on your consistency, there's a two thing, two thing you need to know. You need to strengthen your stamina because it takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of energy. So if you have a good stamina to work on this, that will help you T ten times improve consistency skills. Okay. The second is your mindset. How much time you can put to work on this? It's your effort. Yeah. So these two things you need to work on it when you at this level. The next we're gonna be a strategy. We're gonna be a strategy. So after you work on the uh, your consistency, then you're gonna start to okay. How can I use these skills into my games? And what kind of games I want to design? And if I against this opponent, how I'm gonna you're gonna start to learn how how you're gonna study your opponents at this stage. So don't jump like from after I learn a technique, I'm gonna know how to strategy. After I learn a football, I want to know how the strategy. Not if you don't have this three, you won't have this. You won't have this. Period. Period. Okay. So no rush. Step by step. That will increase your speed of your learning. Strategy here, if you have good skills of these three, that your strategy will be more, will be more creative, will be more creative. Then after you learn this, you're gonna start to work on the most important things, which we say the mentality. The mentality is a lot of athlete, especially international competitor. You can see those athletes they work out a lot, not just only these things. They spent a lot of time to work on their mentality. When I was in national teams in Taiwan, that we spent a lot of time to talk to the uh, psych psychology specialist. We talk about how we can improve our performance on the courts, and they will ask about, oh, if, uh, what kind of situation you feel nervous, anxious when you train? How, what kind of feeling you have? And they he, he get, they gonna start to you know analyze that and they give some like concepts or knowledge and we can implement into our game teach us how to think how to relax our uh, men, men, mental so that's the things mentality is the really really important things in the athlete stage but I would say this as I coach a lot of recreational players I teach these three levels. It's not because it's not because you are athlete. So I teach mentality. No, everyone needs to go through this. All right. How many of you guys have like at, when you serve? Doesn't matter if you are athlete or not. Even you recreational players or you just start. If you serve or you move on the courts, you worry, you scare, you you know afraid to lose a point, make mistakes. This is all mentality. This is all mental. I just say. For athlete, because we need to compete all the time, so we need to strengthen our mentality all the time as well. We spend a lot of time on this. So this concept, I say, badminton life triangle. This is a concept that I've been through coaching over the ten thousand students, and I create this concept to help my students have a properly ordered priority. To speed up their improvement, I always plan for my students like this. They need to have a good mindset and teach them about what's the badminton skills they need, and then what they look in their lifetime of the uh, badminton, and then start to teach them the five layers on the courts. So that's my concept. I hope you enjoy these videos. If you have any questions, comment below and let me know. First time, if you're first time watch my videos, make sure to click the subscribe button and notification bell. I'll see you guys next week.